I'm Jason Abraham and welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Well, uh, welcome to the Mendota Ranch. So, today we are going to go gather all the cows. All the cows. So, I've kind of got my deal set up. Well, I'll just show you. Y'all just tag along, okay? We'll go gather some cows. Let's make sure nothing's going to fall off. All right, here we go. So we're kind of, <clears throat> we're headed to the back side over here. So I set all the gates yesterday. I'm going to start bumping all three pastures together today. It's about 65 degrees. We had a little rain last night. The wind died down. It's going to be a good day. And it looks like we got cows all the way back here on the back side. That's all right. We got all day. We'll get them, we'll get them going. Get along, girls. And one bull. He's going to be slow. All right, let's get back. Let's check this corner. Make sure we don't have anything in the corner. All right, here we go. Oop, got a bunch of whiteies. The more white tail aren't supposed to be here. So we'll see if we can get these cows turned off. You see the draw right over the hill here. And there's, there's more cows right over there. So we'll pick the rest of those cows up on the way down. There we go. Nice and easy here. Good. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep pushing. Make sure we get this. We kind of slowed them down a little bit. Kind of give them a little push again. I guess October is Dyslexia Awareness Month. Bonnie thought it'd be good for me to discuss that. So the reason I'm discussing is because I'm extremely dyslexic. And um, so back when, of course, went back in the 70s, they really didn't even know what dyslexia was. But, uh, you know, my experience was, you know, you, you, you go to school and the teachers call you this, they call you that. And the problem was, I knew I was smarter than all the rest of them. But, of course, you can't say that at school. But, they, you know, they, they, they try to bash you down for whatever reason. They, they label it as, um, you've got a, like a learning disability. And I don't have a learning disability. I just learn differently, you know? And, that, and that's the way dyslexia is. That, you know, you don't have a learning disability. The reason they label it a learning disability is so you can give those teachers an excuse um, to say why they can't teach you because you've got a disability. And, tr and truthfully, what it is is the teacher has got a teaching disability, if anything. You know, and, and so, you know, if you got kids... You know, if you got grandkids or kids that might be dyslexic, let me just kind of get tell you what what my life is like. So, so, so like when I'm when I'm reading, I'm reading everything by sight because when I sound something out, I can sound it out, but I can't put it together. If that makes sense, it's kind of like telling a colorblind guy this this uh, the stop sign is red. He can't see it, but he knows it's red. And so then if you show him red, we go, well, it's red, and he can't see it. So so being dyslexic is kind of like that. You can you can make all the sounds you want to. You can sound it out. You just can't put it together to make it a word. And that that's the problem. Now, for me, dyslexia is actually a gift because everything that I've been so successful with, I believe, came from being dyslexic. Um, it's it's just plain and simple. So if you've got a kid that you're struggling with that has dyslexia, just remember what I just told you. Think about think about it like as a, if they're colorblind. Think about it like you know they they can't they can't for some reason their brain just doesn't freaking throw all the sounds together to make a word. So you have to learn to read by sight, and that's just not a, it's not a very a good way to, to learn how to read so what you can do now now if you catch it early man they can do a lot of good now if you catch it early so say say if you got a kid and you see that you know they're struggling there and, and you see and you know hell by the first grade you you know for sure and so you know make sure you get them with the right person the right teacher and we all know good teachers and we all so you know so 
So for me, I had I had some real. When I first started, I, I really had some crappy teachers. You know, some of them are just paid gripe asses. Some of them are just there to pull a check, and some of them are there to make a difference. And you can spot all three of them. If three of them were walking down the hall, I could tell you what every one of them was. I could tell you the gripe ass. I could tell you the one for the paycheck, and I could tell you the one that's there to make a difference. And that's the one you got to find. That one that's that one's that's there to make a difference. That's the one you got to find um, for for whatever your kid. You know, you got to find that kind of stuff. You know, in Canadian back in the 70s, of course, they couldn't even spell dyslexia. So, luckily, um, they found a, a place for me to go to, you know, to to help, you know, overcome some of it, but. You know, dyslexia is, it is what it is, it, but it's not a learning disability. It, it, for me, it's a gift, and for most people, it's a gift. So, yeah. So let me leave you with this. So, we all suck at something. Everybody sucks at something. You just got to know what you suck at. And the reason you suck so bad at that is because God made you so good at something else. And that's what you got to focus on. What what did he make you so good at? Because you suck so bad at something. So everybody sucks at something. All right. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. I'm going to jump out and get this gate. See you.